Okay, so right now there is only one branch called as main branch. And whenever anyone will work, they have to work in their own branch. And then I will merge it in the main branch. So I will show you the procedure gradually when the time will come. Right now what I will do first, I will click the clone. And I will say clone with HTTPS, copy URL. You cannot do this unless you give me the ID. So I will give you access. I don't see anyone ID in the telegram. So you to uh, just give me in telegram. Not here, not here. I want in telegram. Because I cannot copy the bad copy paste URL. Okay, one second. So this is the cloning URL I gave you in the chat. So this is my Visual Studio code. I'll create a new folder. Let me create a new folder one second. So this is my GitLab. I'll create a new folder. Full stack 2023. I'll select this folder. And here I'll open the new terminal. And I'll say I'll, I'll say git clone and I'll put the URL and place dot. Uh, why I'm putting dot? So that all the files will be saved inside this, inside the main root. If I don't put dot, then it will create another folder and it will save there. So I have to put dot in the end. So let me give you this URL also. And then I'll, I'll add everyone's. Okay, now let me add, see I can see the readme file. So in the readme file, I'll try to, I'll try to put, I'll, I'll try to put uh, all the notes with which we talk. So now if I see the git branch, you will see it is the main branch. And if I do git status, uh, I, I, I want to, it's saying one file modified, I want to revert it. Okay, since this is the main branch, if you see main branch, nobody should work on the main branch. You should work in your own branch. And I'll show you the procedure how to work in your own branch. And then when you're done with your changes, you can ask me to merge into the main branch. Okay, so what I'll show you the procedure. Let me first add everyone's name. So here, this is the project. Let me go to settings, or manage members. Okay, so here I'll go on adding the members. Okay, let me add first a show create. Okay, uh, invite group invite members. A show create. Role will be developer. No expedition invitation. So I show you to go and accept the invitation. Jadav, let me see. Jadav is there. I don't see this ID. So you have to give your user ID, Jadav. It's not taking the ID. Okay. okay let's say Anand. Let's put Anand. No, I don't see Anand also. A student, I get, uh, I don't see the ID. You have to give the username. Yeah, Gayatri. Select role a developer. Okay, two people got invited. Let's see who designed 992. Let's add one. 
role developer okay any more i want uh, jadav to give me and i want uh, ashok ashok has given me okay anand i want your user uh, username see my name is here my user id is this one so you might have some user id i want that no one is i i don't see anand i don't see jadav okay let's put the jadav okay just put it in telegram yeah yeah so okay jadav is added any more okay good hi sir good morning developer okay once you accept the invitation you will be able to do the get clone just do the get clone as i showed you okay anand chawla i got anand chawla okay i think uh, all are done now also i i added few of the softwares in the telegram which we will be working on in future not today so maybe whenever you get time you can download and install them whenever you have time so once you once you accept the invitation you will be able to you will be able to do the git clone as i am doing here okay so let me know let me know if you are able to to get clone just say yes if you are able to and say no if you are not able to do okay we will be we'll be doing lot of coding so it's good you should do side by side don't wait for video to get uploaded and sometimes you know video get corrupted so it is better you should do it here along with me Is it done? Get clone is done. No sir. No. Okay. So command to do is uh, if you have created a folder where you are trying to work, then you can run this command as I gave you in the chat. Get clone. and then dot like this i gave in the telegram also so if you have created a folder then you have to put dot in the end and if you have not done then don't put the dot Sorry, exactly. asking for username and password. Username, it should be your username and password. Git lab. Okay. Sir, it's showing uh, permission denied. Public key. So, did you put? your username and password 
I need to connect to some issues to this as well. Okay, so what happened, you know, generally, uh, let me go to GitLab. So, generally GitLab, uh, where is my thing? One second. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Second, let me see. Got it. Adam got it. Okay. So generally, you have to put uh, your on. Let's see if I can show something. Have you put your username and password or no? What is your name? Who, who got password? Gayatri. 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 Permission. Have you put your username and password? Did it ask username and password? No. Let me check one more time. Sir. Maybe you are logged in as different one because once you log in, you know, once you log in, you won't be uh, you have to change it, your account, I think. Maybe you are logged in with different one. One second, applications. Okay, Anand is able to do user ID. I don't need user ID. So no saying I need the username. You have to give me your username. So. So if you are using the windows, try to do like this also. You can uh, you can do like this also. Right click it and do the mm -hmm, clone, where is the clone? Yeah, this, uh, where is the clone? Second, let me check. Yeah, I'll do git. Yeah, git clone. I can do git clone. If you are totized git, and once you do this here, it will ask you the username and password. So just download that git totize, then you can directly visually in the Visual Studio permission right public key okay Kate is getting this okay so let's see I think uh, you need to put the keys uh, one second let me check I access token here you can create your key Oh, S S H key. S S H key is uh, one thing, but uh, but there is uh, better way also. You know. Uh, you sir, I got it. Then you can put it. Otherwise, there is another one. I let me check. I am also. I did long back. So when we try to uh, clone using HTTP, it is asking for username and password. Then we can. I think then we can access. It. Yeah, you have to clone using the HTTPS, right? Authentication failed for Ashok Kumar React. Okay, so let's see what uh, what how can we solve this? GitLab, let's check. So it's saying go to credential managers. Okay, let's see. Let's go to credential managers. Edit the git entry, replace it old with the new one. Okay, let's see if we have credential managers. 
so this is the credential manager and then it's saying to go to windows credentials go to windows credential and let's see GitLab. yeah let's go to GitLab. so mine is here can you check yours are you using windows or mac uh, ashok yeah kate is using mac so we'll see on mac how to replace it so maybe here you need to edit it or remove it and then it will last again okay let's see on the mac okay what it's saying access token go to settings then go to access token then what create a new password okay so create a new password so try this go to access token name it something check all create personal access token just try to create so this you can use as a password also let let me see if I can do it. I will go access token, token name, expiration, no expiration. I will say let's give all the permission. Create. So your access token is saying like this. okay so my access token is this one I will delete it for now okay just create it and then I think you can use it try using this one for Kate you can try this one or everybody who is getting failed try to create access token and then when it asks for authentication put your username and put password as this access token okay let me know when if so let's see if you are not able to access then tell me I'll give you two minutes to do this. Uh, Nani, I have generated the new personal access token. Okay, now? Now put it where? It's, so you, when you try to do git clone, it will uh, try try doing git clone. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay can uh, you? I go to this. Let's say Mac. Let's see how to do in Mac. So you can use this kit, or everybody can use this it thing. So once you create access token, you can call this set. When cloning, just use this one, this URL. Okay, let me give you in the chat. Okay, I gave you the new URL the Telegram. Just copy and rename your username and access token there. Okay. Then you will be able to do that.
Is it done or no? No. 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 <coughs> okay. Can you share your screen? Let me give you the presenter. Yeah, just share your screen. Let me see. Yeah, so you should be able to see read me. Can you okay. you can see that screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. Go to okay. access token. Yeah, you can see this, right? Which one? Yeah, just do yeah, just do git clone in your one in your uh, command prompt. So you're using no 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 no. You have to put your real access token. You cannot say access token. What is your access token? Oh my access token. Click the click the your icon. Yeah, this one. <coughs> click preferences. Okay, on the left side, go to access token. Uh, go down if you have created. Let's see. Yeah, you have created right, but you remember that access token. Yeah, Previously, this one. Which, yeah. Uh huh. No. Okay, go oh. create new one. Go create a new one. Okay. Yeah. Name Polish Tech something Polish Tech two zero two three so. Okay. You know that what this is for this project. Yeah. Remove the expiration. Remove, Remove the exp expiration. Click the cross sign. There's expiration date. Down, down, down. Yeah. Down? Click the cross sign. This one. Yeah. Cro click the cross sign on the right side. Yeah. Yeah, go down, select all. All? Check okay. all, yeah. Back. Yeah, create your personal token. Now click the icon on the right side. Sure. Now save this one. Save because, this one? Yeah, Probably because you won't be able to see this one. Yeah, save somewhere in your notepad or somewhere or oh, email yeah, or somewhere. Okay. You won't be able to see that. And now you have to you have to put instead of access token you have to put this one in the command prompt. Yeah, do you do you see access token? We don't put access token, you have to put this whole ID which you have. Uh user ID I'm 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 right, right? Yeah, this user one. ID is right. This only this one. Also and yeah. Paste it. Yeah, enter it. Don't put dot now. Don't put dot. No dot. No. Yeah, do ls. Mm. Now you can go to full stack folder. Yeah, okay, go to okay. cd full stack. Okay. Uh, ls. ls. Read me. Right. Right, okay, right. Okay, I got it. Press. So each time I should use the use the same access token it's, every yeah, time. Yeah, it's only one time. Next time you don't need to. Do. It's oh, now you okay. did it for one project one time. Sure, sure. Thank you. Okay, so let's. Uh, can you can you see my screen now? <laughs> You can see us. Okay, so no, no. Yeah, I can see. No, no, no. Okay, now everybody can access it. Is there yeah. any problem? Okay, now I will show you how to work in your branch. Because if I go to here, if I do git the branch, it is the main branch. And main branch, you should not work in the main branch. Main branch is somewhere. I will put the code of everyone into the main branch. So when you are working, you should work in your branch, and just name the branch which uh, the purpose you are trying to uh, do. For example, if you are building some app, so just name the app name. Okay, branch name should be something meaningful. So since we are beginning, I will create one branch, and then I will show you how I will merge it to main. So you, everyone has to do like this. So I will do git checkout and I will put minus B 
and I'll put the branch name. Since this is my first branch, so I, I will always create my branch with my name, MK. Okay, so no thing, I'll come back to you. Uh, MK, and let's say I will name it as intro. If I put only intro, then you won't be able to create intro. Okay, so put some prefix based on your name. My name is, I'll put my name and then I will put intro. So I have to do git checkout like this. So here I'm creating a new branch. This is the step to create a new branch. Okay, so I will create a new branch like this. So everyone create a new branch like this. And now if I do the git branch, I can see I am switched to my branch. So you will be working in a branch, I will be working in my branch and after that, we will merge everyone's code into the main branch and then we'll create another branch and work on that branch. Okay, this is the procedure. You will know as we go proceed. Okay, Sonu Singh, can you share your screen? <coughs> Sorry. Mm, thing, what happened? I am giving you presenter role. Just share your screen. E say yes to become presenter and then share your screen. So did you give Sonu Singh, did you give me your user ID? What is your user, user ID? ID? I have to give you access. Let me see if I give you access. Mm, you have not given me your user ID. Yeah, it's a Sonu Singh 90. Just give me this Sonu Singh 90 yes. in the URL. I give, put it in the Telegram. Put it in Telegram. Or I will copy one second. Let me copy Sonu Singh 90. Let me add you, okay? Okay. So no thing ninety like this one. Okay, now accept the invitation in the what you to accept the invitation in the GitLab. Go to GitLab. Refresh the page. Refresh the page. Uh, refresh the page. And refresh them. Yeah. Okay, let's see where is the notification. Yeah, see, join the yeah, project. This one. Yeah, so now try to clone. Okay, close it. Okay, go to the folder, let's add a right click it. No, go back. Right click it. Let's see. Yeah, right click, you are not getting it. Yeah, go to Toto as git. Now do everything like command line, don't do from here, okay? So let me, now you can clone it, right? Go to your Visual Studio and do as I'm doing. Sir? Yeah, so I'm saying just to go to command line in the Visual Studio code and okay. do like I did like this one. So you have to create a new branch. So you have to create a new project here in the Visual Studio code. Do you know how to create a new project? Uh, I'll call this one. You have to this, click new windows okay. and choose the folder to the folder, which folder you want to open it. Mm -hmm. Just to the folder stack 2023 folder. And you will be here and then go to terminal, new terminal and do this. Okay, share the screen again, maybe, maybe you need help on that one. Share the screen again, let me show you. Okay, yeah, you are correct now. Yes, I trust. Now click the new terminal. Yeah. Terminal, new terminal. Okay, now here, do git checkout minus B. 
git checkout i put it in the i put it in the telegram minus b now put your name ss sonu singh oh no no who told you to click enter click up up arrow space now you to give the branch name ss sonu singh ss underscore underscore intro i n t r o so you are creating your branch you will be working okay, in okay. your branch enter it okay now see git branch to the git branch git space branch now you see you are in your yeah. branch right okay now wait i'll do okay okay so i created a branch whatever i will work today i will work in this branch and then i will i will commit it i will push the my branch and then i will show you next step okay today since uh, we give a lot of time on the git part let's try to uh let's try to let's try to do some introduction so now what i am will be going to uh what i will be going to do now in this one so this will be very big class it will go too many months but not every day whenever i am free i'll ping one day before so you have enough time to plan so first thing is we will do combination of react react native together i already took a class on the react so i'll not take separate class on the react but i will show you the react code inside the react native so react react native and react with typescript because many company wants you to do in the typescript so we will be doing react with typescript also do i don't prefer personally to work in the typescript because it uh, adds um, another complexity of code and it uh, takes my lot of time in the typescript so i will just show you how to do that but if company wants it you can do that but with all my projects personal projects will be without typescript but to learning point as a learning thing i will show you how to do with typescript then this is the client side front end it's called front end then we will also do back end part this is a full stack so back end in the back end we will be doing node js and some part of php i will be not doing the php the latest version but i will show you some of the good things in php uh in php 6 version or php 5 or 6 version 6 version the current it is 8 version going on so but we will be doing something little bit of php old version next database so in the database we will be touching mongodb sqlite because this react native is highly dependent on the sqlite so we need to understand how to do sqlite so react native plus sqlite is a combination and then we'll do mysql and parse server which is my favorite everybody knows we have done a lot on the parse server so this is how the overall thing will be structured and then css uh data structure will be ongoing this i will be showing whatever you know thing i will feel i should show you i'll show you data structure less sas this is side by side we'll take few lectures on that one so this is the readme now if you see i have changed the readme file okay so you don't change the readme file i'm just showing you and now if i do git status you will see it saying readme file is changed now i will do git commit minus am i will put some comment change the readme file okay so whenever you do change in your code you have to use the git commit okay if you are adding some file then you have to do git add dot 
then all the new files will be added in the git and then you have to run the command git commit so steps are i will show you the steps of the git so whenever you do create first step is create a new branch like git checkout minus b and branch name so once you do the new branch then you are inside that branch then do your work whatever you want to do do all the changes then do git add dot so if you have created new file this will be added next is commit the file so you have to write a git commit minus a and put some message whatever you want to say what you have committed what you have changed then do git push now since this is a new branch if i do git push it will not work so let's see what will happen if i do git push see it's not working so it's asking me to use this command first time so instead of git push i will use this command you will get different name because my branch is this one for you it will be different branch so if i run this command it will create my branch into the server so what it did it created the branch on the server how to confirm that i will go to my full stack project and here i will see two branches one was main initially and i created the new branch mk intro this mk intro came here because i run the command this one this command i run this is the only one time you have to run this command whenever you create a new branch and after that i can use git push again again first time it does not allow me to git push but once i run this command for one branch then if i want to do it again i will use git push so if these things are new to you don't worry we will be doing every day this thing so you will understand and if you are not able to do correctly you have to share your screen and show me i will correct you yes yes sorry i have to add do next js also so we will be doing next js next js is a combination of front end and back end will be doing next js also okay so now what we have to do after git push so when you are done with your all your changes you have to create a pr pr is this pull request how to create pull request you have to click this link once you click this link it saying new merge request and you have to put the title what what title you want to give what description you have to give in assignee to whom you have to assign it so just put my name okay in the assigning put my name reviewer put my name so i think delete the source branch when the merge request is accepted so when i will accept your changes uh, your branch will be deleted so keep this checked and squish squish come don't worry about this one don't check this one and create the merge request i will not do now because i have to do more changes but this is the one you have to click this one so it will create a merge request and then i will check your code and if it is good i will merge your code into the main branch i will merge your code into the main branch and if it is in the main branch other user can see it so we will go through this step again and again don't worry about this one now okay so this is the steps i have written and i will say when you are done with changes create a pull request in pull request i will check whether you have done your work correctly and if you have done your work correctly i will pull it and if it is not done i will help you what wrong you have done so you can correct it and this is a link every time you push you will get this link to create the merge request but don't create merge request every time do this merge request when you are done with your current work let's say i ask you to build a navigation so once you are done with the navigation then only you create your merge request okay so what now we will do i will create a new folder i will name it my name mk i will put my name mk and all the work which i will do i will put in this folder for you also you can create your folder and you put 
with your name okay and whatever work you will do you will put in your folder only I will create my folder and inside that my folder I will create many new folder one is called the react if I want to do some work in the react I will do in the react folder and if I want to do in the react native so I will say name is react native first thing which we will start now for a few weeks is the react native and when when we will be doing react native I will also be showing how to do react if you have not understood the react you will learn react also so I will create a react native folder okay so after react native I will also create another readme file inside the react native so in this readme I will just put many things what I am doing for the react native and the main react readme file is the generic command generic file where I will be putting the details of general things which I will be explaining now whatever thing I want to do about react native I will put inside the readme of the react native so how to install react native how to proceed with the react native I will put inside the react native today we'll do only the installation and then we'll close and the next lesson we'll start more on the react native so let's start with the installation of the react native so before I go to installation of react native just you create your folder uh, first you have to create your branch have you created your branch everyone anyone who has not created a branch just create a branch quickly because if you don't create branch then you will not be able to work and if you have created the branch just uh, follow the step create I will put day one uh, date what is date today's date mm, for me it is 17th June for you it will be 18th June I will put 2023 okay for you it will be different date uh, sir, I, do I need to change the readme main file no don't change this readme main file readme main file is only I am supposed to work on this you no one will change this file you have to just create a folder what you have to do create a folder based on your name and then create another folder inside your name folder and this folder name will be react native insert your name folder and then create readme.txt file inside your react native folder okay that's it then you do same thing git add dot git commit minus am added new folder and then do git push when you get push you will get you will get some message that you cannot uh, you cannot uh, push it then you have to you have to run this command it will give you this command what command to give your branch name and once you are done with this let me know I will check and see whether you have done things correctly once you are done with this one let me know I will put it in the slack uh, sorry in the telegram
let me know when you're done with this one i will check okay let's see who has done it so if you're saying done then if i go here i see five branches and kate has created with ac is it uh, anand or ashok anand anand okay this is me this is gayatri i don't see more let me know more so no seeing uday everyone has to do it if you don't do it you will not learn and if you don't learn then it will be difficult for you to grasp letter you know you have to do along with me and when i go to different branch i can see what they have done it so see kate has create this folder with read me file okay so like this i i should see that one have you pushed it kumar ashok kumar have you pushed it have you run this command git push if you don't run this command then it will not work i won't be able to see okay so do it i will ask again in 5 minutes let me continue i need to do some one important thing now so now what we will do we will start with the react native and if you know how to install react native then it's good but those who don't know i will show you the procedure and you have to do that one so let's do the get started so in the get started if you see react native can be done with the expo or with the react native cli quick start so the procedure in the react native cli is very complicated and it will take 1 to 2 hours to complete that procedure so we will not do that today we will do after after few weeks how to do with the react native cli but for today we will do with the expo go quick start so for the expo go quick start let me write down what we are trying to do so for the expo you need to install one software in your mobile everyone has its mobile whether it's android or iphone you have to install you have to install one application it's called the expo go install this app on your phone it will be apple or uh, google play store it is available in both let me know once you install this in your phone let me know write down done if you are done with installing this app so first step is we have to install this app this is available freely in apple also okay ashok i'll check it will be available in apple also and google play store this is uh, say done if you have installed this app in your phone Kate has done wells anand done uday done gayatri done okay so many people have done it let's start further now what i think either you can use npm or yarn in my computer some somehow npm is broken but if your npm is working you have to follow this step but if you are using yarn you have to follow this step so i will follow put the first step 
yarn create expo app awesome project so I will put this yarn create expo app uh, I'll just put in the notes but I will run it so where to run it I will go to my folder CD Manish and then I'll go to react native pro folder and then I will run this command yarn create expo app awesome project once I run this project once I run this command, a new project will be created called as awesome project. Okay, you can also run the same command. I'll give you in the Slack also. So those who use NPM, they can use another command, but I use yarn, so I will be using yarn. So once you run this one, we'll wait till it gets completed it's done let me know if it's done on your side run this command and then okay once you are done with this one just put done so that I know you are done with this step Is it done? Anyone? Yes, sir, I accidentally created it under the Bootstrap uh, folder. Yeah, I it it right? Delete it. Delete it. Okay. okay, so what you have to do, I'll let on the step also. CD, your name folder, slash React Native, and then it will project is ready I show done who else running okay so since it is running I will go to the next step then I will say CD awesome project let's go to the CD awesome project and I'll go to CD awesome project then then it's saying yarn expo start so let's do that so I did yarn expo start after I go to my project I will say yarn expo start so it's starting the project now okay once I run this start uh, expo start it will run the project and I will get this QR code now how many of you have Android phone and how many of you have Apple just put your phone is it Apple or Android so let me see how many are using which phone Anand is using Android Kate okay, iPhone Gayatri Apple iPhone okay so 50% is about Android 50% uh, iPhone so I will tell you in both the cases what to do so if you are using Android open the Expo Go app and there is a there is a menu you will see scan QR code okay so just scan this code whatever you have now I will also do Android people can do now and I will tell you how to do in iPhone so let me do in the Android I am using Android let me do it those who are Android do this one okay I will tell you iPhone in a minute okay one second okay I did so 
once I did, I will see my app running in my Android phone. It's, it's loading. Once it will load, I'll let you know. Okay, waiting, loading. Okay, something error happened. Let me restart my Expo Go again. Yeah, sometimes this uh, Expo Go gives little hard time. Maybe we have to restart our uh, no phone here. because I was doing it another project few minutes back before I start the class. Okay, maybe I have to restart my phone because few minutes back I was using another project. This is something I think problem with the Expo. Uh, I'm restarting my phone. Okay, so those who are Android, they can do this one. And those who are in the iPhone, they can open the camera and scan the code which you see here. And scan the code. And once you will scan, it will say open in Expo. There will be link coming, open in Expo. Just click this link. You will see your app will now your app will get open in the Expo. So for iPhone, they can follow this one. Now I'm restarting my phone, and then I'll start again. Try again. I think I was working in another project, and that's the reason I, I'm getting error. Do I need to sign up for Expo for login? Try without signing, and if it works, it's fine. If it didn't work, then try. I am using without signing. I'm just using directly. Okay, let me my phone get restarted. Let me try now again. Okay, now it's working. Now you see this something is going on here. That means it's uh, trying to load in my phone. Yeah, sometimes when you work in one project, switch the project, you have to restart your uh, mobile so that it works. So it's Android build complete. Now I can see my app in my phone. And uh, I will show you that app now. One second. Let me see if it is working. Double check it. Yeah, it's working. So I have installed one software where you can see my phone. And you will see this is displayed in my phone. Everyone is uh, seeing the same thing. Those who have run the code in Expo, are you able to see this app like this in your phone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So whatever, whatever you do, the change here, it will be visible in your phone immediately. So let me put this in the half screen so that we see what things are happening in the phone. Okay. Yeah. So, so now if I open, if I open the awesome project app dot js. You will see it saying open up app dot they start working in your app and if I do some changes here, for example, I will say my name. Okay, my name. As soon as I save, you will see it is changed in your app. So when as soon as we will build the app, it will be immediately visible in your app. You don't need to call it again or refresh it or do anything. It is auto refresh. Are you able to do change something in the app.js? And are you able to see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
okay so this is a software there's one software where i can transfer my mobile thing into the screen this software is called visor and here it's saying my phone is connected and i can show you my phone here directly so whatever is there on my phone i can show you here so now only thing is today we installed one app we created one app we installed that app in the mobile and I will now close this one. I don't need it more, right? I just showed you. Okay, I do control C to come out from this one. Okay, let me create a new terminal again. So what we will do, we created a new project. Let me write down here. We created new create native project and checked on mobile how it looks and how to edit that file okay this is the part which we did today now what we did we did some work we created one project we will be working more on this project we will be doing a lot of basic things how to do alert how to do toast notification, how to do maps, how to do SQLite, how to do local storage, all things we'll be doing in this awesome project. So this awesome project is our learning project. So for a few weeks, we will be working on this project only, and we will learn all the basics of the React Native. And once we are, have some basics of the React Native, then we'll start building some of the projects, uh, new projects, which you can uh, build as per your thinking whatever you want to build okay now what I will do here since I did some changes I want you everyone to do same thing which I'm doing here first I will check what things are got changed so to see I will say git status git status will say is telling me that read dot me read me file is changed and there's a new folder is created Manish K since the new file is created I need to add this in my git so I will say git add dot once I say git add dot all the files are added in my git now I will use another command git com commit minus am created awesome project okay I did git commit after git commit I will say git push since previously I have already done git push so it's not asking me the whole line of the git push it's asking me just git push and after git push it will give me this URL to merge the code and I will click this URL as soon as I click this new merge request I will say I'll give some title and here I'll give some description created new expo project and who is the assignee I will assign to me everyone assigned to me because I will review your code and reviewer also my name and then I'll create the merge request as soon as I create a merge request you will see this is the merge request and when I will see this merge request I will go through all your files I'll go through all your changes and then if it is good I will merge into the main okay so everyone create the merge request and ping let me know once you're done creating the merge request and if you don't understand just ask me any step which you don't understand I want much request from everyone who has created the expo project and checked in your mobile Once you create the merge request, just say created so that I can check your merge request. So, so no thing to answer your question you have to create your folder name your name 
and then react native and inside react native okay i'll come back to you ashok inside react native you are running you are running this yarn command so the project will be added there if you deleted readme file is it in your folder or you deleted my main one main one okay so if you deleted main one so what you can do you will do get status then you will see something like deleted uh, main file so then you have to do git checkout and just copy the readme so once you do git checkout it will re reintroduce in your folder once you say git checkout this one it will come back okay does i use yeah npm you can use npm also and to use npm you have to go to here if you are using npm you have to use this one you have to use npx if you are using npm command okay uh, who's not working your code ashok kumar can you share your screen let me see i gave you presenter role so what grad is coming let me see let me see what error you are getting go down or scroll down yeah okay go up and what you are what is happening when you are scanning is it giving error or what something no it is saying like when you are scanning the thing like i am not able to hear you can you come closer yeah it is showing something went wrong i am still not able to hear you Sir, your mic is not good. I cannot hear you. Anything? Okay. So maybe, maybe, what everyone do? Install this software called as Visor, V Y S O R, and connect your phone. Uh, you know, to this one. Sir? Yeah, now it's fine. Yes, sir. I'm when I'm trying to scan the QR code in that Expo app, right? Yeah. So I'm getting like something went wrong. I'm not able to scan it. Something went wrong. I also got same thing. Restart our phone and try. Okay. Okay. So everyone, uh, you know what to do. You install this visor. So if you have any problem in phone, you can share your phone, and I can see what's happening in your phone. You know, otherwise <laughs> now it's the one problem. But in, in future, when anything will come, and I will not be able to understand unless you show me. the things okay let me see anand anand i'll give you present a role let's share what you're getting it okay Okay, show me, show me your visual studio. What's happening? Okay, let me see. Anand react here to also. Okay, one second. Do git branch first. Let me see one by one step. Git branch. Okay, now do git status again. Let me check again. Okay, you are getting this one. Okay, do git add dot. git add space dot now git the status okay let me check okay go to cd dot dot cd space dot dot enter since again cd space dot dot you were in the Subfolder. That's the reason. Now do git status. 
you have to go to root folder and then do it okay now this is good now do git commit minus am okay i'll give i come back to git next <laughs> That's it, yeah. Uh, one second. You have to say minus am, not minus, yeah. Space over, yeah. Enter it. Now to git push. Enter it. Enter it. Enter it. Enter it. Okay, now click the link. You got this link, you see? Purge the request. Up, 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 up. Yeah, this one. Click this. Command click. Command click open okay so add, add some description created new project uh, expo project I, okay assignee assigned to my name or assign your name actually yeah let's try assign your name reviewer my name Put reviewer my name. Okay, create merge request. Okay, so I will check now your merge request. So you are good for now. Next time we'll I'll show you what steps you have to do. Okay. Sir. Okay, let me let me give the Kate presenter role. Okay, we have five minutes more. So I can create the the Expo project, I create already, but I cannot start the project. What did it say? Uh, see also? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So, uh, NTX. Uh, copy there, call. copy there from there. I will give you in the... Stop. Yeah, go, the other co no, 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 don't put like this. Oh. Uh, you created that one, right? CD also. NPX Expo Start, right? Uh, NPX Expo Start. Yeah, NPX. Expo Start. Expo Start. Mm, what it's saying. Okay, so let's delete the folder, try again. Go back one CD dot dot, CD space dot dot. Let's try it again. I don't know what wrong you did it. LS, do LS. Okay, now what you do? Uh, now copy the command which I give you in the telegram. Yeah. Okay. Just paste it here. Let's see one by one what's happening. Go there, go there. Let's see what we're getting. Okay, so what to do? Yeah, let it be. Let's see if it doesn't work. Try yarn. Sometimes NPX has problem. I was also getting many problems with NPX. So I did yarn. Oh, so okay. if it is again giving, if it is working fine, it's fine. Otherwise, if it's giving error, then let's do yarn. Let's see first what's happening now. Anyone else having problem? Okay, now go to CD Awesome Project. Tap, 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 tap. Again, tap, again, tap. Project? Enter, yeah. enter. Yeah. Now run NPX Expo Start. Oh, shoot. NPX, right? NPX. Yeah, yeah. Expo Start. Yeah, so I, I, I believe it is yarn. Is it yarn installed? Would do yarn minus V. Let's see if yarn is installed or not. Oh, yarn installed. Oh. No, just say yarn minus V. No, no, no. Yarn minus V. Oh. Yeah. Yarn is not installed. Let's install the yarn. Let's do it right now. Uh, how to install yarn? Let me do it. Let me see the command. Okay, so run this command. I'll give you in the telegram. I'll give you in telegram. Yeah, this sometimes do sudo with sudo. 
Oh. Uh, under this awesome project. Yeah, and, and anywhere it's fine. Do sudo. Sudo. Yeah, rather this one? enter. Yeah, right. Uh, and he yeah, yeah, it's um, fine. It's fine. Enter it. Password. Your laptop password. Yeah, it's done, right? Go one one level back. C D dot dot. Yeah. Uh, ls to ls. Let's delete all the. So do rm minus rf. Do sudo with sudo. Sudo. Sudo sudo sudo. Sudo. Rm. Rm space. Space. Rm space. Min, uh, yeah, minus r rf. No, 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 RM. Minus. First RM. No, no, minus. Oh, RM. RM space minus RF. Minus RM. RF. RF. F, 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 or space. Mm. Awesome. 8 capital. Awesome. Tap, tap. Yeah, enter it. Oh, enter. Let's delete these both. Yeah, again run, same thing, up arrow, up arrow, uh, uh, capital awesome P, project. yeah, mm. tab, 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 enter it. Okay, now run with the yarn, okay, once it is done, run with the yarn, let's try with the yarn, because I was also getting same problem with NPX. Uh, yarn? I gave uh, you, I gave you in the chat. Okay. Mm-hmm. Two yarn, two yarn. Oh, paste it. Oh. Let's try with a yarn. Okay, now do CD awesome project. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, mm -hmm. enter. Now do yarn expo start. start. Enter. Okay, uh, yarn is saying expo not found. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Can you can you search this error command expo not found in the Google? Let's see what people are doing it. Yeah, let's see what's happening. Yeah, click first link. Let's see what it's saying. Yeah, go down. No go don't go down. Go down solution in the solution section. Go down. Not done. Okay, go. Yeah, I share what it's saying. No, no, this should go down. One second, let's see. No, 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 not this one. Go down. Yeah, okay. I add expo. Just run this one. Okay. No, but it's an add expo. Why to run? Okay, do it. What it think? Yes, sir. Yeah, do it and then run. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Just run this. Let's see. Now run. Yeah, expose start. Yeah, let's see. Nothing working. Okay. I I have to go somewhere. I'll I'll uh, I'll talk to you uh, separately. Okay. Let's see sure. tomorrow.
Yeah, I will also do some search online. Yeah, do, do research why we are getting error. And, yeah. uh, or otherwise try to install the another uh, again okay. and see if it is working. Okay. Okay. Any any other any other question? Anyone quick question I can answer otherwise. Uh, oh, we have same uh, same class tomorrow. No. <laughs> I don't know when there will be next class, so I will message in the Telegram. Okay. When, when I will be able to, because I'm not free every day. Oh. So whenever I will be free, okay. I'll just uh, message you, uh, message in yeah. the Telegram that class is in the next day. So it will be yeah. not every day. So whatever whatever I told you today, just try to go through it again and again and try to, uh, you know, uh, yeah, try to uh, practice it and thing. I mean, just repeat the thing what we did it. Okay, before I finally close it, I will just show one thing. So here if you see, I see the two merge requests. I want merge requests from everyone. Right now only Ashok and Anand, uh, is it Anand, right? Anand and myself has created the merge request. I want merge request from everyone, okay, mm -hmm. so that I can review your code and see what mistakes you are doing. So I will go to each merge request and then I will merge it. Sure. Okay, I merge my request, let's go to no, I show merge request. So as soon as I merge the request, you will see whatever changes I have done or whatever changes Ashok has done, Anand has done, it will be available, it will be available in the main branch. So right now you will see, if I go to main branch, you will see whatever we both did is available here. So when we will create a new branch next time, from the main, we will get this code uh, automatically. Okay, so I will I will talk this more in the next class. Just make sure you should create your merge request. Uday also created the merge request. Let's see what Uday, Uday has done. So Uday has created uh, only readme file. Okay, so I, I, I don't want readme file. I want the one first project, awesome mm. project. Okay, so I will not approve unless you put awesome project. So I will put here comment. Please add the first project, okay? Then only I will approve it. Right now with README, I'll not approve it. I'll give you this comment. And as soon as you will put your first project, it will automatically appear here and I will approve it tomorrow or whenever. Yeah, committing now. You commit it, I'll do today night or tomorrow. And I want everyone's uh, merge request here so that I can see who has uh, sir, I need to check a delete source branch when merge request is accepted. Over and check it. No, check it. Check it. Okay. Okay. So that's all for today. If you have any more questions.